I was like this close to starting the car, just driving away. We made eye contact and so I went over there. The chemistry was so intense. It was impossible to resist. It was impossible, y'all. Trying to be together just felt like we were breaking the universe. <sighs> this is a lot. I cannot believe I'm sharing this on the internet. I'm deeply in love with this man. Every day it pains me in my spirit to be away from him. Meeting him was truly the best thing that ever happened to me. It set me on a completely new trajectory and I could honestly talk about this shit all day every day for the rest of my channel. <laughs> but for your sake, I'll try to keep it to just the biggest, like most important points. For those of you who don't know what Twin Flame is, I encourage you to check out the Netflix TV show Beef because it pretty much sums everything up. A Twin Flame is basically you from another dimension that shows up in your reality and challenges you and helps you fix your life because you've either strayed from your path or you forgot who you were. So I met him in 2021, like after the COVID-19 shutdown. My friends and I went to this thrift store. I was trying to be like an Instagram influencer person back then, so I was wearing like a lot of like crazy outfits and doing a lot of weird looks and stuff i had this white hair at the time and he was like oh i like your hair and i was like oh thanks but then we were leaving we're in the parking lot just sitting there and my friends were like oh he was looking at you whatever and i was like of course he was because i'm hot but anyway you just sat there and my friends were telling me to go talk to him because he was sitting in his car right behind us and they said he was looking and i like did not want to go i did not approach people first i was mad anxious and i was like this close to starting the car just driving away but then i saw him looking in the rear view mirror and and like we made eye contact and so I went over there and the rest is history. <sighs> This is a lot. I cannot believe I'm sharing this on the internet. It haunts me how I was so close to just missing that moment. And it really fucking haunts me, like, wondering who I would have been if none of that happened. Basically, we hung out and it was pretty chaotic. It was pretty reckless, pretty impulsive. Both of us have very intense personalities um, and obsession tendencies, so... We rushed into things. It was honestly like a movie montage. Like it was like, it felt like a movie. The limerence was hitting, the dopamine was hitting, like everything was just perfect. Honestly, it was too perfect. Like it wasn't real. And things quickly became unsustainable. We were both mentally unstable as hell at the time. And we had terrible coping mechanisms. Like we quickly projected all of our past trauma and like pain onto each other. We got into so many arguments. Like, and if you have been through this, you know that. It's not just a disagreement it literally feels like two worlds colliding insanely powerful personalities and realities are competing for dominance for me it was scorpio versus aries here are our charts so if you know about astrology you know this is a fucking nightmare we had these different perspectives but like the same level of intensity and we knew we were right but at the same time, we were very loud and very wrong. Trying to be together just felt like we were breaking the universe. The chemistry was so intense. It was impossible to resist. Like, it was impossible, y'all. But trying to collaborate and even just communicate just felt futile. I would be thinking he was understanding me, but then in a second it would flip and we would be arguing again and like it was just so frustrating and it felt like nothing I did was ever good enough like it felt like there was always some problem or something wrong with the way I was thinking feeling or processing things and I could not for the life of me understand why God allowed us to meet if it was just going to result in this we got caught into this loop for several months or years um depending on how you look at it but we just kept engaging and even though I knew it was not doing us any good I just wanted it to work so badly I think both of us had good intentions and we're just trying to do the right thing just felt like our human limitations were getting in the way of this divine spiritual and intellectual communion we wanted the same thing but we're constantly stepping on each other's toes almost like we play the same character in the same movie. I really do believe that means that we were meant to fulfill the same purpose or play the same role 
on this planet but just in different ways or in a different place that's why i really believe your twin flame is you from an alternate reality i leveled up so much because of this person he lived like 30 different lives all in the same lifetime he has such an incredible backstory of things that he's overcome it's really a, a privilege to have him open up to you because it's just like talking to a mystic like who remembers all of their past incarnations i shifted realities like a hundred times since meeting him i wanted to share with you guys some of the life lessons that i got from this interaction so number one all realities exist every person is living in their own little world there's only so much that you can do to manage other people's perception of you you don't need to waste time trying to explain yourself all that matters is that when you're on your deathbed you and god can have that conversation and you can feel good about your life lesson number two righteousness is a feeling you must cultivate within yourself through abiding by your own values and moving with integrity when you're lying to yourself other people can tell and they will call you on that either consciously or unconsciously and words only hurt you if they're true lesson number three love is not enough you can love someone so much that you can't actually give them what they need and you can love people like a mom or you can love people like a partner when you're loving like a mom you want to protect that person from pain and the challenges that they need in life in order to grow and level up yeah you can love someone and not even really like them because you're just attached and need them to stick by you so you can keep getting high off of them in order to love fully you have to let go of your selfish desires lesson number four chemistry is not the same thing as compatibility your desire for someone is just that eventually the high is going to wear off shit's gonna get real at some point and attraction is really just that it does not matter if there's no teamwork no trust no communication and that person just cannot give you what you need to be successful he's not evil he's just not compatible and i feel like a lot of girls get that confused you think because he's not doing what you want him to do that he's a bad person no he's just called to do something different in this life lesson number five was just nothing is personal life is hell when you're constantly assigning personalized meaning to everything everyone says and does stop being such a fucking narcissist Stop being in such a rush to control the narrative. Slow down, pause, and listen. Just observe what your body and the environment is trying to tell you. And always just respond rather than react lesson number six you cannot manifest something that's not for you and this is going to ruffle some feathers and make people uncomfortable but you can honestly persist 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 and at some point it just starts to beat you down it becomes like a battle between prioritizing your peace and persisting in this old dream that you had and i don't say this to discourage you from chasing your dreams or from manifesting but dreams can change and and plans change, people change, and it's okay. Like, you're not giving up for pivoting. It helped me level up so much. And so, like, even though it almost killed me, I'm very, very grateful that we met.